friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, I'm Cassie Ruby and today we are going to find out what's in this bag. Um, so I spent, I think you had to spend like $19.50 at Ulta or something in order to get this bag full of, I believe it's 13 pieces of makeup. So let's go through really quick and see what came in this bag. So I got all of this for free for spending $19.50 at Ulta. So inside comes with a tinted eye primer, matte setting spray, brow tint, two brushes, mascara, two lips, one liquid, one lipstick, eyeliner, bronzer and highlight, a little eyeshadow palette, and makeup wipes. So today we're going to do a review of all of these and we are going to see how it goes. Alright, so I already did my face. I used the Shape Tape Matte Foundation, the Shape Tape Concealer, and uh, Laura Mercier's uh, the Translucent Setting Powder. We're going to keep moving. So first I'm going to use the bronzer and illuminator. I am going to use their blush for the bronzer and then I have my own, it didn't come with, this is, it says a brush, bl a blush brush, but uh, it doesn't come with blush. So I'm going to use my um, mini NARS orgasm blush, but we're going to get started with, I'm going to use their bronzer and their blush brush. see how this goes. Okay. I can't see that at all. <laughs> We're doing good. <laughs> so I've never tried anything. I have never tried, oh my god. I've never tried anything, um, Ulta brand before. So this will be a good little test of that. Oh, there we go. This will be a good little test of what I think and if I think anything is worth, you know, continuing to purchase. Um, and we will see how that goes. Um, wow, I'm really like digging into this. I feel like, like I'm like, side. I mean, maybe it's just the brush I'm using, but this is their brush. So what does that tell you? I mean, let's be real. I'm not going out and buying Ulta brand blushes because this feels cheap to me in comparison to like my Morphe brush. Like this is heavy. This has a good weight to it, but I feel like these bristles are kind of crappy. I don't know. I just don't think I'd ever go out and repurchase brushes when I have such a nice set already. Um, cool. So I have both the Shape Tape Matte Foundation and the Shape Tape uh, Hydrating Foundation, and this is the matte one. Look, I just don't understand. Like, I blended this. Like, you can't even tell that I blended this. I blended this for a really long time, and I just feel like, like, it's so patchy. Like, maybe it's just my dry skin, but the hydrating one, I feel like, blends so much nicer. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But I generally only use this one for stage anyway. Um, I have to re-blend this down here. Like, I blended this. I don't understand just don't understand like I blended this like this doesn't even look like I blended it like there's a whole section of my cheek missing am I blending too much I don't know man I don't know I just always forget how much I dislike The hydro, I'm um, sorry, I love the hydrating one. I always forget how much I dislike the matte one. I don't like my face looking matte. I only ever use it for, 
you know, if I'm going to be on stage or whatever. Um, I just feel like this is, this just going to be patchy down here. Well, this isn't even a review of this, but it's just going to be patchy because no matter what I do, it's not fixing it. <sighs> All right, back to this. I also feel like this is a very harsh line that I really need to blend out. Oh, that's better. I don't know. Maybe it's just the foundation that's making this look annoying. I'm like really going ham on my face right now. Um, like even down here, I blended this and you can still see the original dot of where I put it. I don't understand. I, I just, I truly do not understand. Ugh, this is so annoying. Oh well, it is what it is. Sorry that I have a splotchy neck, people. All right, um, so yeah. This bronzer, I just can't with this. We're gonna stop with that. Um, so now I'm gonna go in with their illuminator. I'm just gonna use the same brush just because why not? brush it just like puts it on in a straight line like I feel like it looks like I have one whole like line of contour and a line of highlight maybe that's just me and my like applying capabilities but I just feel like it looks very um like here's the highlight here's the bronzer you know I really hate this foundation. I love Tarte. I have a lot of their products, but this just does not work with my skin at all. Like what? It looks like I have no foundation on here and I know I blended it out. I just don't understand. I don't get it. This highlighter's cute. I definitely think I would use this again. I don't think this bronzer is anything special, but I think I would try it again and give it another shot with my brushes and see if that makes any difference. Um, but yeah, this highlight's actually really cute. It's like, like it looks white. Like it is white, but I don't know. I feel like when you blend it, like it has like gold undertones in it. Um, it's really nice. I like it. I'm a fan, I'm a fan of this. Um, since I have it on my hands, let's use it. Um, cool, 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 cool. I just, this foundation is so, it's like so patchy and blotchy on my skin. I didn't even use that much. Maybe that's just me. Like, maybe that's my fault. All right, so I'm going to use now the NARS, um, my NARS blush with this brush. Now I know that this goes on nice and even, so let's test this blush out and see what happens with that. Like I'm not seeing any color. And I'm like digging. I know this blush is pigmented. If I could take this foundation off and start again, I would, but I really just <clears throat> don't feel like doing that. I feel like the brush is just a piece of crap. That's my, uh, that's my test on that. So the brush, not, no good. So no good. Um, all right, so let's keep going. So I am going to now move forward with, I'm going to put on some of this, um, eye primer and it says it's tinted. 
eye primer satin blush so uh, we're gonna just be real gentle I'm gonna poke some on my eye and then I'm gonna use my beauty blender to uh, move that along but I'm just a little nervous because I the colors in the eyeshadow palette that I were going I was going to use do not really match this but it's fine it says that it could be worn as a primer or a loan, which I think is kind of a cool concept. Um, all right. It's kind of pretty alone, actually. It's patchy because of this freaking foundation, but I mean, it may not be actually patchy. I don't know. It blended out a little bit better. All right. Now we're going to go in with the eyes. So this palette also came with an eyeshadow brush that I'm terrified to use because the blush brush did not go so well. Um, so it also comes with this, but nobody's used these since we were all five and using eyeshadow from our fake flip cell phones. You know what I'm talking about? I definitely had like three of those. Um, but yeah, so these are the colors. They have names, Petite, Plum Pop, Pin Up Girl, Whatevs, Autumn Spice, and Nutmeg. Um, I'm going to go in first. I'm going to use my Morphe brushes. I'm going to go in first with a Petite, and I'm going to put that right in the crease. Like I said, I've never used any. Oh, that was lighter than I expected it to be. That's okay. Um, I've never used any Ulta products before, so this is truly a test of what I think. Um... I'm trying to think like have I used anything from them no I don't own any Ulta products so I think that that is so this is like our review and we're just gonna see how it's going right now so far um I don't know I don't know how I feel just yet I am truly regretting wearing this foundation I only picked it because the setting spray is matte and I hate putting matte setting spray on top of like a dewy finish um, foundation. Just not really a fan of the way that looks if I'm being real with you. This color is kind of pretty but I can't tell if it's the color or if it's the primer. Primer was nice by itself. Kind of wish I'd used my finger but we will test that. I will test that at another time. I'm going to go in and use a little bit of nutmeg in the outer corner. I'm going to switch brushes though to something a little bit smaller. I feel like this is a nice like beginner kit. You know what I mean? Like someone who's not really into makeup but wants to get into makeup. I feel like this is like a nice little beginner set. Especially if you only are spending, you know, X amount of dollars. Not trying to do anything too crazy. Just add a little bit more color. The orange color, I think it's Autumn Spice, all on the lid. Just wanted to add a little bit of dimension with this. I hate when things don't have mirrors and I have to keep switching back and forth. It drives me insane. I feel crazy. Seem to be blending okay. I have no complaints. No complaints yet. Do the same thing to this side. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try putting Autumn Spice on after this all over the lid and I'm going to try it dry with their brush and then if it doesn't work I'm going to wet it with my brush. You know, I think for people who needed like a cute little travel kit, this is definitely a good way to go. But 
I don't think I was one of those people. I just got it, you know, just because it was something that I could try out. And I don't have any Ulta products. Except the only, I did buy their Z palette. That's the only other Ulta palette I have. And that is what got me, um, which what got me this, actually. Alright. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. Just kind of blend this out a little bit. I mean, this all seems to be, like, okay. Like, blending all right. I wish that I had not used... I wish that I didn't decide I was going to put Autumn Spice all over the lid because I just feel like this is so, like... Like, it's literally, like, this color. And I'm just about to put red all over my lid. Not red. It's like an orange. This one in the middle. All right. This is dry. Alright, here we go. Ooh, this is a pretty color. I like it. I don't wanna I think it went on like okay, but I definitely think I wanna do I wanna wet it? Let me just try the other eye first. I am like going in though. I don't know if you can see. It's not really that much fallout. Is there any on my face? Well, I don't see any on my face, so that's good. I do like this color a lot though. I'm curious to see what it looks like with a wet brush. Ah, let's do it. Let's wet their brush. I'm going to use their matte setting spray on it. All right, let's see. I'm going in. Both sides. It's killing it. Here we go. Did that make any of a difference? A little. It is a really pretty color though. Do I have another color like this? Yes, I do. In another palette. So would I need to go out and buy this again? Or want to buy this in a single? No, probably not. It's cute. It's a cute color. Definitely not as pigmented as it looks, though. Um, okay, great. Now I'm going to go back in with Nutmeg a little bit and just kind of blend it all together. And then I'm also going to put a little bit of nutmeg underneath the eye, keeping it super tight. This really is like a very fall color. I really like it. Um, all right, I'm gonna go back in one more time with this brush and just make sure everything's all nice and blended. All right, so now I'm going to try their medium brow tint. It is a gel like this. I love this kind of stuff. Generally, I'm a huge fan of the Kush um, Milk Makeup one, so let's see how this one goes. Not bad. Not bad. I don't hate this. Okay, 
right? So this is with and without. Let's dip her back in. It doesn't feel very liquidy. Like I don't really feel it on my brows. Oof, these brows need to be done. I'm a fan of this. I like this brow tint, which is good because I'm almost, almost out of my Kush one. So I can use this as a refill until I get paid and I can buy some more. <laughs> Milk, please sponsor me. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I wanna send your girl some PR. <laughs> I wish. Um, Cool, all right, now I'm going to go in with an even smaller brush and I'm gonna go back in with the illuminator and I'm gonna put it on my inner corner and underneath my brow bone. This is nice because it has like a goldish tint to it. So it kind of just blends everything together really nicely. Cool, 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 cool. But really though, for those of you who don't watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine, you should, it's so funny. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit under the brows. Now that they're done. They need to be like done so bad. I should get on that. All right, now I'm going to go in with the eyeliner. I'm just gonna do um, tight to the waterline. And hmm, do I wanna do, this is a gel liner, by the way. Gel eyeliner in blackout. I think I'm not gonna do a wing. I'm just gonna do on the top and then I'm gonna do on the waterline and I will be right back. And I'm back. Um, one thing I wanted to point out about using this is that maybe it's just me because I generally use a liquid. I just felt like this wasn't like super smooth to be able to put on um, and maybe that's my fault. I'm not really sure. Um, but I would definitely give it another try. Generally I only use liquid. Generally only ever use the Kat Von D even though I have like a hundred other liquid eyeliners sitting over there from like subscription boxes or whatever that I just don't use because I only like the Kat Von D one. Um, Cool. Lashes, let's give these a try. Um, this says Limitless Lashes Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara. Um, the brush looks pretty good. Let's see what happens. Not bad, they're definitely very separated. Is this lifted and lengthening wait what limitless lashes lengthening and volumizing I think these look pretty good mm, this is good for the bottom like really good for the bottom I like all right we're gonna dunk her back in try the other side I don't hate this mascara Would this be the first mascara I grab? No, but if I was running out of the one that I was using, which is the Milk Makeup Kush one, if I was running out of that and didn't, you know, needed this in a pinch, I would absolutely grab this. It looks real nice on the bottom lashes. I am a fan of it on the bottom for sure. Cool. All right, let's pick a lip. I'm gonna swatch these two for you. Um, and then we can decide what we're going to do. Um, usually I wear this color to auditions and stuff, so I feel like I'm really going to end up liking this. But let's do the lipstick first. That's just one swipe. Now let me go over it and make it a little bit. Now this is a couple back and forth. And then let's try the liquid. I'm just gonna do one swipe first so you can see. One swipe. And now let's spread her out. And then that's more than one. Hmm. I say let's do the liquid. 
currently have chapstick on right now just because my my lips have been so dry lately and I like have been you know I need to do a scrub and stuff but oh so pretty I feel like it takes so much concentration to put on liquid lipstick maybe that's just me though feels nice it doesn't feel maybe that's the chapstick underneath but it doesn't feel like crunchy yet um I like I like I like cool all right and then the last two things we have to use are the setting spray so let's give that a nice little spray hmm, smells nice like it doesn't have a smell but like it doesn't smell like chemicals you know and then the last thing that I have to use is the makeup remover I'm gonna use on the back of my hand and we're gonna see how this goes it says open here where is here am I dumb oh I got it I think all right right off the bat that could have been a little bit easier to uh, open but has, it says on the go cleansing makeup remover facial towelettes vitamin E and pro vitamin B5 gentle cleansing for sensitive skin doesn't have a scent so that's good it's getting this off pretty good all right well Seems like we've used everything, so let's go through and I'll give you a final review, like my final thoughts on everything. First of all, this bag is super cute and it actually fits way more than I think it looks like it does. So I would definitely be using this. I don't think the glitter comes off because I thought that's like a huge pet peeve for me is when like if there's glitter on something, like if eventually it's not gonna look like it has glitter on it, then I don't know. All right, these brushes. Not a fan of this one. Probably won't probably won't be using this one again. This one actually wasn't terrible. I think that if I was going somewhere where I could potentially lose my brushes and I didn't want to bring my nice ones, I think I would consider bringing this if it was, you know, going to be... I would consider bringing this, I think, with me. Um, this one, not so much. I will stick to my nice Morphe brushes. Um, this seemed to do okay. My skin feels like nice and soft now, so I'm gonna say that the wipes are pretty good too. First impressions on this, I really like the highlighter, the illuminator. Um, I, I don't know how I feel about the bronzer. I don't know how I feel, and maybe that's just me needing to figure that out, but I would like to try it again with a different brush because I think that brush made me not like it. Um, so I'm gonna try it again with another brush, but right off the bat, I, I just don't know how I feel. Um, but the illuminator I liked a lot. Next is the eyeshadows. I think this is a, it's good for what you got for your money. You know, I think that these eyeshadows actually look really cute. I'll probably use this again if I need these colors to come with me somewhere. Um, but otherwise, if I'm gonna bring a larger palette or I'm gonna stay at home, I have similar colors in other palettes. So this probably won't be the first one I grab unless I'm traveling and need these colors in a smaller setting if I'm limited on room. Um, next, the setting spray feels pretty good. I have no complaints. This said this was high rated on Ulta's website. Um, I generally use the NYX setting spray. I have the matte and the dewy. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to see. I will write in the description bar as, you know, once I'm uploading how I feel like that feels. But I'm going to say that this is pretty good. This is smaller than the one I usually use, so this might be coming with me, you know, for traveling or whatever. Um, this felt, I don't know why I just did that for so long, kind of felt like Halloween makeup. Um, I wonder what it looks like on the lips. I'm going to test it out just because I'm curious. And I like the color a lot. It's a nice fall color. Um, I just kind of felt very patchy and not as pigmented. But once I built it up on my hand, it looked pretty nice. Um, this I'm a fan of. Definitely going to be using this for auditions because I've been using the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick. I believe the color is Amulet. I could be wrong about that name, but I can't find it anywhere. So I've been looking for like a dupe for it and I actually really like this. I think this would be good for auditions and I'm probably going to keep using this. 
Next up, I'm going to talk about the eyeliner. I like it. I like the way it looks. I just think um, maybe it's me and I'm just not used to using gel and pencils because I don't really use them very often. But I like the way it came out. I like the way it looks. And yeah, I will not be throwing this away anytime soon. <laughs> um, the mascara, I actually really like a lot. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm almost out of my Kush mascara and I will definitely be using this as a fill-in. I'm dropping things. Uh, I actually really like this a lot. I'm pleasantly surprised. So if you need a cheap mascara, I would highly recommend this. It's called the Limitless Lashes Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara. I mean, I don't know if you can see. I'm getting really close to you right now. Um, I don't know if you could see, but I just feel like especially the bottom lashes, I don't know, I feel like the bottom lashes look very nice and not clumpy because I feel like it's hard with a larger brush or whatever. I think this one really did the trick. Um, next is this. This is the Tinted Eye Primer in Satin Blush. I would be willing to try this in a not tinted formula. Um, just curious to see what that feels like and how it performs and stuff. But I would also like to try it by itself as an eyeshadow. I'd be curious to see how it does on its own. Um, and last but not least, the brow tint, which I actually am a fan of. I'm a fan. I like it a lot. Like I said, I'm almost out of my Kush one because I use it literally every day. Um, but I'll probably keep using this until it's empty and then refill and maybe I'll switch back and forth between the two. Um, my brows don't really feel crunchy. Um, that's my big reason for using the Kush one is because my brows don't feel crunchy at all when I use that. But they're actually not too bad with this either. So I would say, honestly, I think my favorites of the bunch if I'm going to be real with you, the brow tint, the mascara, and the matte metallic liquid lipstick. There is no name on this. Mm, hope this isn't like a specialty. I might have to try to go out and get this before it's gone. If it's like a limited edition or something. Um, but yeah, so these are my three that I recommend. And the bag, if you can get it. I know Ulta does stuff like this all the time where they put, um, you know, spend X amount of dollars and you get Ulta brand stuff. Um, so basically my overall rating I think would be that I would be willing to keep trying more Ulta products. I'd, I'm interested in seeing what their foundation is like because I'm so unhappy with this one and I'm almost out of my hydrating uh, Tarte Shape Tape foundation. So I'd, I'd be open to trying another one. Um, but I have some other, I have some samples of stuff that I probably should fill up first, but I would be curious as to trying maybe an Ulta concealer and an, an Ulta concealer and an Ulta brand foundation. Um, all right. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned. Uh, my next video is going to be something a little bit different and not necessarily makeup related. So stay tuned for that and make sure you subscribe. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.